Hello Aquarius, thank you so much for checking out this video. This is going to be a love reading for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. It's going to focus on a person who you are, are who you are already in a connection with. Um, this will be a general reading, so it will not resonate with everyone watching. Just take what resonates and leave the rest. Check out your other placements for messages. Sometimes those can resonate more. All right, Libra. Let's get into it. Not Libra, Aquarius. You might be dealing with a Libra. Those Aquarius. What is going on with your readings, Aquarius? There's always something that happens in your readings. Last week, was it last week? I did your reading twice because the first one, something happened to it, which was really strange. Okay, spirit for Aquarius, please. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus in regards to love. Aquarius, please, what does Aquarius need to know regarding the person they are connecting with? Also, please keep in mind whatever situation I talk about today could have already happened, be currently happening, or happen in the near future because time is fluid. And even though I'm saying you versus them, flip the roles if they resonate more, okay? So let's start with your current energies, Aquarius, you and your person, spirit. Current energies for Aquarius and the person they're in a connection with. What are their current energies at this time? Nine of Swords. Well, that's not good. So one of you or both of you are in a stressful situation. There could be guilt from both of you or one of you. Someone's stressed out here. The world. The world. Okay, cards just want to come out, so what's this? Four of Wands reversed. Well, that's why there's stress here. There's been some sort of breakup um, between you and this person or some sort of disconnect. This was possibly something that happened in the past, could be happening now, but there's been um, a new cycle because something ended here. Someone's feeling guilty, stressed about this. You both could be feeling this way. Um, it could be a, it could have been a permanent breakup. So something that happened that you, you never thought you'd get back together, or it could be like a, a break. Let's see. Bottom of the deck here, 10 of cups reversed. Whew. You could be in a family unit with this person. There could be children involved. Doesn't have to be, but 10 of cups to me is like married with kids. So let's see. Let's look at your energies, Aquarius. Okay. King of Pentacles, King of Swords Reverse. King of Swords Reverse wanted to come out. Um, King of Swords Reverse, this is somebody who is upset. There could be two people you are involved with. This could be anybody in your life who is, um, could be um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy here. But this is somebody in your life or you who is mean. <laughs> This person is not kind about what they say. They're very direct, almost cutting in the way they communicate. They also use communication to their advantage and not in a good way. This person could just be pissed. This King of Swords reversed. Um, but he's not a good person or, he, or he's not a good person right now. So this could be you or someone you're in connection with. Um, this could also be just someone that you know. This King of Pentacles, I don't know who this is, completely different energies here. This is someone stable, usually in a committed relationship. This is someone with a good job, good house, secure, financially secure, makes good, wise decisions. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy here. This is someone solid. King of Swords Reverse is not that. So I'm guess I'm getting that there's two people here. What else for Aquarius? current energies please you could be dealing with these two people at this time queen of pentacles reverse wow so this could have been a a breakup of a marriage here the end of a marriage here or a long-term commitment this queen of pentacles i feel like was dropped by this king of pentacles too many people here guys this could be a third party situation. I have three people here in the world as well. Bottom of the deck, I have the Queen of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Energy, another person. 
Now, it doesn't have to mean that you are in a connection with these people, but you know these people here, Aquarius. You would know better than me, but you have someone here who's completely um, a manipulative person, doesn't care who they hurt, very upset, not seeing clearly right now. You have a king of pentacles here. This is someone very stable, grounded, financially secure in a committed relationship. This queen of pentacles is just thinking about herself. She's dependent on others because she can't provide for herself. This queen of pentacles also is very selfish, greedy. Cares about materialistic things but has nothing to provide or has nothing to give. She has nothing that to give. She doesn't give anything. She just keeps, keeps, keeps for herself. And this queen of pentacles reversed is also someone that is a bad partner, not loyal, not dedicated, even could be a, a bad parent. So I don't know what is going on here. I am going to clarify all these, but this is what I'm saying. I'm seeing. I'm just the messenger and I'm not going to sell you on something that I don't see. All right, Aquarius, let's look at your person. That does not feel right. What is going on? Hang on, guys. I feel like Spirit has a lot to say. Oh, there's a leader shuffle. For Aquarius, please tell me about their person. What are their current energies for Aquarius's person? Three of Cups reversed. Third party situation here that has party is over. Someone has been chosen, whether, you know, they wanted to or not, or a third party was revealed. And third party doesn't have to be another partner. It could be any sort of interference. Tell me more about this person's energies at this time. Person they're dealing with. Ten of Swords reversed. The Moon. So someone here was keeping something to themselves or something was not what it seemed. Here. Someone's over a betrayal or starting to heal from a bad ending here, a bad situation. Pisces energy here with the moon. Someone here, something was not clear. Bottom of the deck, eight of swords reversed. This person's overcoming a mental block. This person is seeing clearly. This person is becoming free, manifesting something new for themselves with the magician, but they could be financially having difficulties. Page of Pentacles reverse, bad, um, bad start or unable to start something stable. All right, let's clarify this because I feel like there's so much here that I, that we need to like dig in here. Spirit. Messages for Aquarius, please. Help me clarify these messages, please. For Aquarius. Clarify. These messages, please. For Aquarius. One more shuffle. Let's start with this Nine of Swords. Nine of Swords for Aquarius. What's this about, Spirit? this about the moon the moon came out twice someone was worried because something was unclear something was not what it seemed king of cups reversed someone used uh, emotions to their advantage someone was not emotionally stable because of a third party reveal Three of Cups reversed again. Someone didn't deal well with this. Bottom of the deck, Lovers reversed. There was some sort of breakup, some sort of union, a bad choice in love. Someone could have chosen the wrong person here. Tell me about the world. Tell me about the world. Can you guys see? Let me lower this. Tell me about the world. King of Swords upright. 
someone knows now that they know they're choosing a new chapter a new life a new a new venture seven of swords reverse this king of swords found out what happened this king of swords caught someone in the act someone got caught tell me more about this world and it ended a cycle this king of swords ended something two of cups wow someone could have been caught in a, another relationship magician at the bottom of the deck someone could also be wanting a new cycle of of with like a real partner someone that they can grow with i don't feel like this two of cups is the same as this four of wands in reverse tell me tell me about this four of wands reverse what can you tell me about this four of wands reverse Two of Wands. Can you tell me about this Four of Wands reverse? Emperor reversed. Aries there. Four of Wands reversed. Why is the Four of Wands reversed for Spirit? The world reversed. What in the world? Page of Swords reverse. I feel like there was an Emperor energy here who was very pow felt powerless about actually I think there's more than that. So with the world reversed this is something that is unable to be closed up, wrapped up. Someone that's unable or unwilling to start a new chapter, to close a cycle. There could be a delay in starting a new life, a new, a new chapter. However, this is all someone that has been thinking about here with, with the Two of Wands. This is someone who is, they're in the planning stages of starting something new. They see the potential of two paths. And they're at a crossroads trying to decide which path to choose. I feel like someone here was trying to think of the best possible solution to their Four of Wands reverse. An unstable partnership. A broken partnership. Someone was like, I have options now i have there's potential now that i can deal with but then we have this emperor reverse with this world reverse this is someone that does not want a chapter to end and um this emperor he might be, feel powerless or not have the confidence to start a new chapter but this could also be someone that doesn't want to let the person they're with move on you know like someone who's who's digging their heels wants to con take control of the situation again you know, and wants to put someone under their thumb or keep them in this situation, this Four of Wands reverse. So it could be either of those stories. Someone here, this Emperor reversed, um, is unable to close a chapter because someone here, um, maybe, maybe there's, how do I say this to not confuse anybody? Because I feel like I confuse you guys sometimes, but it's clear in my head. I just can't communicate it. Um, the ending of a relationship, right, has opened the doors for this emperor who feels very powerless right now. They're unsure of how to end a chapter, how to begin a new one. They see the potential, but they haven't made the decision yet. That's one scenario. The other scenario is someone here, this emperor reversed, is someone who's trying to take back control in a negative way. They don't want someone to find potential somewhere else. They're twisting words to do this with the Page of Swords reverse. This is like lies, uh, miscommunication, bad communication, messages intercepted. I have the Ace of Wands reversed under that and the Nine of Swords again. So someone here is really like unable to start something new, unable to move forward. 
Tell me about this King of Swords reversed. Let's move over here. This could be, um, to, for me, this is you, Aquarius, but feel free to flip the rolls if they resonate more. Move these over here. Tell me about this King of Swords reverse. What is going on here with this King of Swords reverse here? Ace of Cups reverse. Two of Pentacles, Ten of Wands, Justice reversed. Okay. Someone here. is in a situation that has been very emotionally draining a burden here. Something was unjust or there was a bad decision made. A decision that was made without using logic or reason, which is this perfect, this King of Swords reverse. Um, justice reverse, this is many things to me. Um, it could mean that there's been lies, um, bad decision making, bad judgment calls because this person is not using logic or reason or refusing to use logic or reason. This could also be a legal situation that was unfair to you in some way or something that was unfair to you. And this could also be a divorce. I'm thinking it might be um, either someone that made the bad a bad choice here that's been burdensome that has made them emotionally unfulfilled. There's no fulfillment here emotionally. I feel like this King of Swords reverse has become bitter and, and petty because of their bad decisions. Two of Pentacles, this is someone who's weighing their options. This happened in, in the reading that I did for Libra. You could be dealing with a Libra here, but it was like they, they weren't using their, their reason or logic when they made decisions in the past, but now they are. Now they're weighing both sides. This King of Swords could also be someone who's juggling two people, right? There's no love here. It's a burden. And it's unfair what they're doing. So I'm seeing those scenarios. Because this King of Swords reverse is not a good person. Or if, they, or if they are a good person, they're not in a good state right now. They're not able to think clearly. They're not able to see the truth of the situ of situations. Um... They're very unstable in, in terms of um, they might lie to get their way. They might be vindictive or revengeful, you know, because they're hurt. Tell me about this King of Pentacles. Again, I feel that I really am getting the sense these are different people here. Tell me about this King of Pentacles. This King of Pentacles left a situation here. Tell me more about this King of Pentacles. Yep, he left to go after an empress. He left to go manifest and create something somewhere else. He, he saw value in someone else, this king of pentacles. Eight of swords, though. I think leaving was difficult. This person was unsure of how to leave, how to do this. Um, King of Pentacles this is someone that thinks things way too much. So it, it makes perfect sense that I have Eight of Swords here. Um, but regardless, they're leaving. Bottom of the deck, Six of Pentacles. They're going after something that's more fair, more balanced. Tell me about this Queen of Pentacles reversed. I think this Queen of Pentacles reversed was the one that was left. We'll see. Yeah, Ten of Pentacles reverse. This Queen of Pentacles is not in a good state. Queen of Swords reverse. Wow. This Queen of Pentacles is not in a good state. There, there. This could be a family unit that has, there's too many people in this family that are involved in a commitment or a connection. 
or friends that are involved in a connection here because I have the Ten of Pentacles here. Um, this is this Queen of Pentacles is not in a financially secure spot right now. Their finances are not doing very well. With this Queen of Swords in reverse, I feel like she's very upset at her predicament, possibly trying to be vindictive. Tell me more about this Queen of Pentacles reverse. Whoever's dealing with these people, kudos to you because this is not a good situation. The Hangman. I feel like someone saw the the real Queen of Pentacles and they decided that that wasn't enough for them. Someone saw this Queen of Pentacles for who they truly were. With the Hangman too, I feel like this Queen of Pentacles is stuck in, in a financially un insecure situation. They're not feeling secure right now. They're feeling stuck here in limbo. But I feel like they did it to themselves. Now with the High Priestess at the bottom of the deck, this is what I'm saying. Like Someone used their intuition or the intuition told them that this Queen of Pentacles was no good. That when things got tough, she became a Queen of Swords reversed. For others of you, um, another scenario I'm seeing is a Queen of Pentacles and a Queen of Swords reversed. I mean, both of these queens reversed, um, almost like in a battle of some sort. Could be family, family situation here. This could also be a third party. The third party, because I have three of cups reversed twice, getting into it. Whatever it is, that's, that's a mess. Okay, let's look over here. This three of cups reverse. What can you tell me about this three of cups reverse for Aquarius? Ace of Pentacles reversed. Three of Swords. Definitely a third party here. Three of Pentacles. Yep. Someone here is choosing someone else to grow with. And they're taking away a commitment from someone else. So someone here. I feel like a person let go of one for the other. Tell me about this Ten of Swords reverse. Tell me about this Ten of Swords reverse. Thank you. Four of Cups reverse. Someone had a change of heart and now sees kind of like the light at the end of the tunnel here. Or an, a new opportunity for themselves. They're healing because they see something or have renewed interest in something here. Tell me more about this Ten of Swords reverse. Page of Cups. Yeah. This person wants to offer their cup to someone else here. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy, Seven of Pentacles. I feel like this person, they could face opposition, but they're standing up for themselves. They're defending their, themselves and their happiness. They're going after what they want and they don't care who's on their side. Tell me about the moon. I feel like this person's keeping this to themselves. We'll see. Tell me about the moon. Thank you. Strength, sign of Leo here. Tell me about the moon. Ace of Swords reversed. Tell me more about the moon. Two of Swords. Someone's keeping to themselves that they that they are trying to make a decision that will affect this third party is what I'm seeing here. I feel like this third party, they haven't made the offer yet to the third party. They're not being honest about this right now. Like they're not being honest about how they truly feel here with the Ace of Swords reverse. And so this isn't getting off the ground yet. They're trying to find the courage here, I believe, to open up, but they're going, they're mentally stuck on that decision. Look. Page of Pentacles at the bottom. You know, it's almost like I know I have to make a, an offer here. I know I have to deliver a message. But I'm really scared. What's behind that? Ten of Cups reverse, the chariot reverse, page of swords reverse, five of wands. They're scared of the of the fallout. And that's keep keeping them stuck. They could also be stuck in this 
situation here where I was explaining about the Four of Wands, someone possibly doesn't want this person to choose another party. And so they're causing delays. But this person's not emotionally fulfilled where they're at, so they're gonna make a decision. That's what I see. I, I think that I think the decision will be made eventually because I think they're just working up the courage. But right now they're not they're not being truthful about their intentions because they're trying to avoid a fallout here. So I'm going to leave it there, Aquarius. Thank you so much, um, Aquarius. I hope that this reading resonated with you. If it did, let me know. I love to hear from you. Um, if not, check out your other placements. Thank you so much for your likes, shares, and subscribes. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you in another video. Take care.